West Virginia University Hospital. Without our affiliation with them, all the finance people were telling me this would not be a reality. It was through their ability to secure the funding for these projects, Cath Lab, ICU, and this one, $28,600,000. Million. Uh, so, and, and also, I might add, a favorable interest rate with that. <laughs> the West Virginia University Hospital Board of Directors, I believe Dr. Mitch Jakes is here in the back. Mitch? Bob Bariner, who will be speaking today, and Betty Gano. Betty, you here? Right here. There you are. Thank you, Betty. Uh, representing West Virginia University Hospital Foundation Board of Directors, Liz Oates, Susan Snowden, Travis Hill, I believe, is here. Where's Travis? And Chris Amores. Chris? Thank you. Uh, this project could not come about without the leadership of Dr. B in the rear of the hospital, or the east side of the hospital. This is the west side. So what happens here is that we have corridors that flank all the patient rooms, uh, running north-south directions. The patient rooms, all private rooms obviously, are in the inner corridor, and central to the corridor are the workstation. Now the pod area simply means that what if you haven't been to the ICU, take a tour of that. Look at the cath lab. We have facilities that are the best in the area. And I'm talking about south of here and north of here. And I invite you to really talk about what we have here in our community. Uh, a good hospital infrastructure is important for our community. It's important to draw business in here. And we all need to be advertising it. So, uh, the, and she didn't want me to say this, uh, Teresa, but this is, this is not your father's hospital <laughs> anymore. So having said all that, uh, on behalf of the board, glad you're here. Take a look around, and I'd like to inter introduce uh, uh, Dr. Daryl LaRusso, who's responsible for a lot of this, who's the uh, medical director of emergency services. 16 years, Salutis emergency physicians, I'm going to name them and I'm going to ask them to raise their hands, have provided stability, they live in the community, they work in the community, and offer a quality product that I am ready to compare head to head to any group in the region, in any state. So I want to just mention Drs. Best, <coughs> Glass, Ellis, Van Doggen, Williamson, Meske, Mongold and Patron. I want to thank my colleagues because uh, they make me look good. They do a great job. What she told me was that she had actually had an experience in our emergency room. She had a severe nosebleed. She came here. She was seen quickly. She was in and out of the hospital in two hours. She was absolutely flabbergasted. She said, City Hospital really knows what they're doing and everybody cares about you. And I echo that. And the person who takes I think should take the most credit for the experience that we deliver to all of our patients in the emergency room um, is not only Dr. Daryl LaRusso, who's the medical director, but all of the physicians and all of the staff. Um, as medical staff admitting here, you really rely on the emergency department to make sure that if a patient has a crisis and they come here that the evaluation they receive and the report that we get over the phone is accurate and that we can rely and trust them. And indeed, we do. Um, that is not the case. I've practiced at three other hospitals, and I've never found an emergency department staff that is, um, excels and is, is as consistent as the current staff here in this hospital. So I'd like to thank them all for that. <laughs> and just, just add that they do that, they deliver that service, consistently in the very small facility that they've been in for the past, I don't know, 20 years. So one can only hope that things will get better. Obviously, we'll see more patients, but the patients will have a nicer facility. I don't know how we can improve on their service because they're already doing an excellent job. But um, once again, thank you. We are very proud. And uh, I don't know, is there another ribbon cutting in the next few months? <laughs> 
We would like to have a ribbon cutting. If you want to follow Teresa over there. Okay, are we ready? Refreshments are served here and we're beginning to tour the back.